For all you chocolate lovers out there, this one's for you. This walnut fudge is creamy yet crunchy at the same time. Hi, and you're watching Plating It with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit on that bell icon, you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. For this recipe, we are going in with 450 grams of bittersweet or semi-sweet chocolate chips. And to that, we're going to add one 14 ounce can or 396 grams of sweetened condensed milk. And to bring out all the flavors, we're going to go in with just a pinch of salt. And now we're going to pop this into the microwave to melt the chocolate. And we're going to do that in 30 second increments until the chocolate has just melted. After a minute, you want to give it a quick mix and see whether it needs to go back into the microwave. It's looking pretty creamy already. I think I'm going to pop it in for another 10 seconds. To this we're going to add 1 tablespoon of unsalted butter and for a little bit of flavor 1 teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Now we're going to mix this up and the butter is going to help to give the fudge a nice shine. Now that all the chocolate and the butter has melted, it's time to add in the nuts. And we're going to go in with 1 and 3 4 cup or 200 grams of chopped walnuts. And I've just reserved a little bit of the nuts to decorate the top. I'm going to fold the nuts into the fudge and make sure that the walnuts get evenly distributed. If you're not too fond of walnuts, you could add in any nuts that you like. I've lined an 8 by 8 inch baking dish with the parchment paper and I've left an overhang so that it's easy to remove the fudge once it's set. Now we're going to put the fudge into the baking dish. And if you're looking to make a fudge without any nuts, I will leave the link to my nut-free fudge in the description box below. And we're just going to flatten this out and make sure that it's even on all sides. If you wanted, you could go in for a rustic look as well. And now so that our fudge screams walnuts, we're going to press some on the top. If you're making this fudge with any other nut besides walnuts, let me know in the comments below which nut you used to make this fudge. We're going to cover this with a plastic wrap and place it in the refrigerator to set. Our fudge has set and it was in the refrigerator for an hour. Now let's unmold it and cut it into pieces. These overhangs that we had left are going to be your best friend now. Take out the paper. Now let's cut this into small bits. And we're just going to go first for the center. This is one of my favorite Christmas sweets to prepare because it's so easy to make and my guests always love it. Once again, just giving it a light mark on the top. It's going to act like a guide before we put the knife right through. Okay, now let's turn it around and cut it on the other side. I'm a huge chocolate lover and growing up I remember when these were served, I would reach out first for these before any of the other Christmas sweets. They are just that amazing. Now if you're visiting family or a friend and you want to present it to them, buy a box, line it with some parchment paper and then just place a fudge inside. Just going to bring these two sides in and cover it up and then cover it up the other way. Now we're going to place the lid on and we're ready to go. And now it's time to give our walnut fudge a taste. I'm going to go in for this bit. Mm. Wow this fudge, it's so creamy and smooth and it just melts in your mouth. And when you bite into it, you get that nice little crunch from the walnuts. And if you want to enjoy this fudge as much as I do, hop onto my website, 
platingitwithwendy.com where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.